Hi Scorpio, this is your November 2019 reading for love. I hope you're doing well. And also I do want to mention as well just a huge thank you for all of the love and support on my channel. It means so much to me. Um, so if you did want to check out the description box of my video, you can. There's so much information in there, you know, from my favourite tarot cards to how you can win a free reading with me if you are interested to, you know, booking a private paid reading if that is something you're interested in. Those are done within 24 to 48 hours. And of course, there's information in there for everything else that I offer, including a link to my Etsy shop where my intention bracelets, which are spiritually charged and meditated with, so they're saged as well, they are going to be on my Etsy. So yeah, link is down there if you are interested. They start from just £3 with free international shipping. And there's lots of new bracelets on there that have just dropped. So do have a little look out. Some of them are also heavily tarot related. So we also have here the Mercury retrograde bracelet as well. So these are tie on bracelets and they are there to remove obstacles and challenges from different areas of your life. So if you are interested, do check those out. All right, Scorpio, let's get started with this reading for you for love for November of 2019. Whoa. Can we just talk about this Seven of Wands? This Seven of Wands, I swear, has appeared in almost every single reading that I've done for the last, I don't know, two, three weeks. This Seven of Wands is a proper, is a proper mood. So it's an energy for sure. Let's talk about the Seven of Wands first. Okay, so the Seven of Wands showcases, you know, an imbalance, but a sense of not giving up which is very, very important. So if at any point throughout, throughout the course of this month, you may feel like you just want to give up in regards to love, but I feel that you would just keep going. This is going to be quite specific. You know, this reading is very specific. It's not just going to resonate with every Scorpio ever out there. It is going to be very, very specific. So it is a general reading, remember, may or may not resonate with you, but I feel emotionally in regards to love, things have been challenging, things have been emotionally difficult it has been a struggle it's I also feel this is something you've mainly kept to yourself and I feel that also really is why a lot of this is a struggle especially with the seven of pentacles it comes through as an extreme struggle you know a sense of reflection it really is challenging it is it's difficult, but I also feel at the same time you're not going to give up. You're still going to hold on to some form of hope. And that hope comes through as the Ace of Wands. So it's almost like you're thinking of someone, or you've been in a situation with someone, and you're thinking to yourself, should I keep going? Should I keep waiting? Should I give up? Should you keep waiting? Should you, Scorpio? Let's see, right? Let's see where the, re where the rest of the reading takes us. Because this is that Ace of Wands, and this is that hope. Remember, we do have a Mercury retrograde, and when Mercury retrograde comes, so do a lot of other people with it, you know, that come back into our lives that perhaps we haven't really spoken to or really had much communication with. And Mercury retrograde, it can really pick up. So that Ace of Wands is quite strong in that particular direction. We also have the Six of Pentacles, which shows a real strong amount of balance. Whew. Remember the moon is ruled by Pisces, and Neptune is in retrograde in sign of Pisces. Pisces is the home sign for Neptune, which is kind of crazy, right? So we also have the Queen of Swords, and this is about you figuring out what's my decision. What is my decision? What can I do in this month? It's a month of overthinking. Should you wait for them? We have the ace, literally, as I said, the ace of pentacles. Okay, one more card. It's the page of swords. Ooh, expect the unexpected. I mean, when, my, when I saw that nine of swords, I was like, whoa, this is you overthinking. I'm not surprised because combine that with the hermit energy, which is this very strong, potent, Virgo, Virgo-like energy, it really does come across to me as though it's a struggle. It's a challenge. It is difficult. You know, you're constantly just overthinking. And for some of you, you may not be able to sleep. You may feel like you're in an emotional roller coaster. You're constantly reflecting and thinking and analyzing. And it's just going 
round and round and round and with the seven of wands it's like it's it's hard it's difficult but you're just you just keep going because you're holding on to hope you're hoping that things will become much more balanced much more mutual this queen of swords and in general the message coming through here scorpio is that you really need to put a lot more focus and energy into yourself okay because what i'm seeing is that even if this person really does come round You have to be in a really strong energetic aura to feel that you can trust them again because otherwise the trust is going to lack. So adapt to this Queen of Swords energy. You can feel powerful, feel strong, focus on you, your goals, your dreams, your hobbies. And I really do feel that this person's going to come around. Now whether you want to wait or not with the information I just provided you, that's your choice, that's your decision. But what I am seeing also is that in Mercury Retrograde, it's going to allow them to A, extend out that olive branch and give you more communication. B, they'll kind of be a, a risk taker and want to come forward and maybe even spend time with you and talk to you and get to know what you've been up to. And, and this in turn is about them awakening with that Neptune retrograde because the Neptune retrograde is to do with spirituality and it's about also awakening and connecting to people, places and things spiritually. So I'm seeing this feeling of not only you emotionally starting to feel much better, feeling more connected to yourself, but also this person starting to do that as well. A level of maturity, a level of knowledge, even though we still have the fool. This fool shows that they will take that leap of faith to come towards you. That risk, essentially. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. We have two aces here, two very strong aces. Ace of Pentacles here shows a wish come true, but it also shows stability, security, and commitment. It shows a very strong level of things coming together, feeling much more balanced. And it also shows them initiating things. You look at that archway and then, well, sorry, that pathway, and then the archway, you can see that they will be the ones to really initiate things. So I know that many of you are obviously stuck in a situation where you just don't know whether you should wait or not. And I never recommend waiting. I always recommend that you get on with your life. You do you. Put the person on the back burner, which I know sometimes can be hard because then you're still kind of holding on to hope and you're still hoping deep down. But the idea is to try and release that grip. And I know it can be really hard, but sometimes you know, we just, we have to try and do it, even just mentally try and do it. The path sometimes to being open to someone from the past and, or wanting someone new is very much so the same. Healing has to happen so that we can feel stronger within ourselves. So even if this person does come in or a new person comes in, we feel strong within ourselves. So healing regardless has to happen. You know, the sense of balance, which I know that you will find has to happen regardless and that's the big message you know is that I'm not telling you to give up I'm not telling you to do something that you don't want to do I'm just telling you that healing needs to happen regardless of if you're open to someone from the past or if you want someone new or you just want to focus on yourself and be happy within yourself healing regardless just needs to happen it's so so important so so important that it just it gotta happen it gotta happen so Scorpio, this is your reading. And if this resonated with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I do also want to mention as well, thank you so much to those of you who have been supporting my channel. It means a lot. Um, let me know if this resonated, um, all that good stuff. Also do check out the description box below for information on the private paid readings if you are interested in those. Um, the free reading giveaway, the, what else was there? There was the bracelets and also the, yeah, free readings. And yeah, everything is down there. Pretty self-explanatory at this point. But um, yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day or night, wherever you are. Thank you so much for all of the love and support on my channel. If can, it just means so much to me. And I am just so, I'm, I'm fascinated. I'm like, wow. So thank you so much and I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching this and take care.